Here is a example of a table of data that shows 10 athletes competing in a track and field competition. It includes the length of the longest jump and the maximum speed at which it is approaching. So the data set for list one in your graphing calculator will represent the maximum speed meters per second. So on your x-axis, when you create your scatter diagram, make sure you label what the x-axis represents, maximum speed, and then the unit of measure, meters per second. In list two, in the graphing calculator, we'll represent the longest jump on the y-axis. The unit of measure is meters. So when you enter these into your graphing calculator, your Pearson's correlation coefficient value is approximately 0.864. This says that you have a strong but not perfect positive correlation between the two variables. So that is review. Now let's move on to the new material. In case like this, we may not be convinced that a linear model is appropriate, we may therefore wish to focus just on the upward or downward trend. One way to do this is considered the relationship between the ranks. So here's what ranks represent. We can assign an X value and a Y value for rank. Rank 1 represents the smallest value in that variable. Rank 2 represents the second smallest and so on. So here would be your normal x and y values from the table above. And then we go out and find the ranks of each of those values. So we look for the smallest number for the first variable, x. So we rank that 1. Then we can look for the second biggest or smallest. And then you would continue that. What's going to go in your calculator when you're done for list one are the ranks. So this will be your list one for, for Spearman's. You would do the same thing for the Y values. This would be the smallest, second smallest, third smallest. This is going to be in list two in your graphing calculator. So you'd enter those into your table. List one, list two. It's going to erase this. So what will go on your calculator is the rank, six and eight. Then the next one, nine and ten. And you would continue entering those ranks into your graphing calculator. What you're going to get is the value of 0.952. This is going to represent the Spearman's correlation coefficient. It does show a strong upward trend, but not necessarily linear. So when we graph it, here is the rank of X, the rank of Y, and then these data sets. So over 6, up 8, there's that first data point. And then over 9, up 10 is that second data point. All right, continuing on. Spearman's rank correlation coefficient of a bivariate, two variables, is defined as Pearson product moment correlation coefficient of their ranks. So think about Spearman's is ranking the values from smallest to largest. To distinguish between the two correlation coefficients, R sub P represents Pearson's, R sub S represents Spearman's. Since Spearman's correlation only considers the relationship between the ranks and not the data itself, R sub S, Spearman's, is often used instead of R sub P, Pearson's, when the data is not clearly linear, so be considered nonlinear. It only talks about the upward or downward trend. So here's a second example we'll just run through. 
we have our data table. Here is our x value and our y value. The x value represents the years since 1978. So this represents 1978. And then the population of bears, 1,030. Five years later, here's our population. Five years later, here's our population. So here is our scattered diagram x-axis, y-axis, and notice what's happening. It's an upward trend, but not necessarily linear. So we would calculate Pearson's with the original data. This would be your list one, and this would be your list two. Then in part C, it's asking you to rank each variable and create a scatter diagram. So here was the original x and y values, and you're going to rank them smallest to largest and find those. These will go in your graphing calculator, the ranks. Here is your scatter diagram. And when you're done with your calculator, this is your Spearman's, I'm just using Spearman's for short, correlation coefficient. What does that mean? Which correlation coefficient is more appropriate? Looking at the scatter diagram of the raw data, so if we go back to the raw data, it's a upward trend, but not necessarily a straight line. So it's not linear, so Spearman's would be the more appropriate correlation coefficient. Describe the relationship between the two variables based on Spearman's. There is a strong, positive, nonlinear correlation between the two variables.